is okay. Um, we've seen a lot of um, pretty advanced stuff today, and uh, this is not it. Um, this all began, uh, I bumped into uh, a former colleague some time ago uh, at a, a train station, and uh, as you do, we started to talk about favorite bugs um, from our common past, and all of a sudden, as we were chatting about this uh, null pointed reference or, or interrupt vector, uh, whatever, uh, he suddenly said, I'm now maintaining code that reminds me of basic. And I felt so jealous, so enormously jealous of him. You see, I, I grew up in the 80s. It, it was a weird time. Um, things were a bit different then. Uh, for example, we had computers like these. <coughs> I programmed them all. The, the one on the upper left was actually my first one ever. Uh, the common things with these were, of course, the programming in basic. Basic is the ultimate programming language. It's so simple. Everything is great. Like in the 80s, if you went to a home electronics store, you, you found these programs and on huge CRTs everywhere. Um, this is a bit childish, but you get the idea. Here's a real program. And so it's a, a silly little game. So I'll, I'll just walk you through the greatness of this easily. Uh, Variable declarations, very, very, very intuitive. A function, returning a random number, geniusly identified by the row number. So you know exactly where it is. Uh, before a loop, uh, there is a, actually support for doing a step also, is that if you don't want to go from one, two, three, four, you can do one, three, five, etc. whatever. But it's, it's simple. Everybody can understand this. I mean, eight-year-olds could understand this uh, in, in the 80s. Output, how difficult is it? Print, string, comma, value, comma, string, comma, value, comma, value, comma, value, etc. Trivial. Input, equally trivial. And perhaps best of all, the flow control is so <laughs> intuitively <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Take, for example, this on, on line 130. You have a go to 220. You know immediately that it's somewhere further down. <laughs> you don't have to look up a name. <coughs> Everything is so easy. Tabs versus spaces. Hello. It's a non-issue. Why bother? Snake case, camel case. It's uppercase, always. How, how difficult can it be? Naming. Naming functions. Functions are identified by their line number. How, how difficult can it be? So this is great. So with this in mind, I, I was really blown back from, from memory. I, I think he actually, my friend actually left some train. Uh, but I, I, I couldn't help wondering, can we get this simplicity to our code that we write today in C++, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fantastic language, you can do anything in it. Weird spin eight tricks for one, and uh, parallelism and, and whatnot. So, I thought hard, uh, tried some experiments, I cursed a bit, actually quite horrendously, and after a while, I came up with this. C++, basic. C++, basic. C++. C++ today is as simple as basic was in the 80s. Whenever someone tells you that C++ is a complicated language, show them this. It's a, it's a lie. It's a super simple language. So you want a live demo to... Yeah. So I can show you that this is not just a fake, it's, it's a real thing. Okay, you'll, you'll recognize this. You've seen this program on slides just now. Uh, what do we have? We have...
So we now have an icon card. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's try again. Three again. The implementation is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, some uh, set jump, long jump, uh, <laughs> some uh, <laughs> silly functions. Uh, yeah, what not? So some. Uh, what do we have here? Do you use the comma operator? Yes. <laughs> Some SP night. Yeah. <laughs> and of course we have the comma operator. Obviously. So, basic is great. Yeah, some uh, fine macros. Uh, the, the for loop is uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> so. I'm actually done now. Just want to say. Yeah. <laughs> Please contribute and uh, talk a lot on the both uh, Slack channels. Thank you.